Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And Logitech just announced a new ergonomic keyboard called the K860, and they actually gave me some exclusive early access to it. I've got it right here. I've been using it for a while now. You didn't see it in the back of my videos because it was under embargo, but now it isn't anymore. So I wanna go ahead and talk about my experience with an ergonomic keyboard. I haven't used one of these since I was a little kid. You'll see it is a split keyboard. It has some curves to it, and it goes well in conjunction with Logitech's MX Vertical Mouse, which has been out for a little bit of time. However, I have been using it in conjunction. So I kinda wanna talk about the ergonomic setup in general, what uh, use cases it has, and the features of this keyboard in general. Let's go ahead and get started. close look at the keyboard. Want to show off, it does have a number pad, which is nice, and show off the angles and the curvature of the keyboard. Now, it did take a little bit of time. It took me about a week to really get comfortable using it, get used to it. One nice thing about it that they implemented is a little extra space on some of the keys to make you uh, kind of get used to it and easier in case you accidentally miss it. So T with a lot, seven, six, G, N, H, there's a lot of different keys with some extra space so you don't end up missing these keys. The wrist rest is firm. It has a little bit of give, and I actually think it's really comfortable, especially because you can put the keyboard at an angle that is most comfortable on your wrist and you're not just pressing down on the wrist rest. It's actually evenly distributing where your weight is going, so it doesn't need to be crazy cushiony. So I actually really like it. Moving on to battery life on this keyboard, and something interesting is that it isn't rechargeable. Actually, when you take a look at the keyboard, there are no ports surrounding it at all, which means you can't have a wired connection with this keyboard, which in my opinion is completely fine. I actually prefer wireless keyboards. Anyways, it does take two AAA batteries, which you might think, oh, I don't wanna have to swap out batteries. I don't wanna have to have any on hand. But Logitech says that battery life will be about two years. So around that two year mark, you're gonna have to go find yourself two more AAA batteries. And that seems like a crazy amount of battery life. So there is a downside to that. How do you get two years of battery life out of just two AAA batteries? There is no backlighting to this keyboard. So I think it's kind of up to you to determine whether you need that backlighting or not. Of course, with a keyboard with backlighting, it drains way more battery than one that does not have it. So if you are going to be in a well-lit room most of the time, you might not need backlighting in your keyboard at all. So I would just go ahead and take a look at your use case out of this keyboard to see if you need backlighting or not. If you don't, this keyboard might be on your radar. I've also been using sit stand desk for multiple years now and your wrist angle does change based on whether you're using a keyboard while standing or if you are sitting a little higher up when you're sitting, a little lower down when you're standing. So you're going to need different angles of the keyboard and they have different pop-out clips down towards the bottom of the keyboard that pop out at two different angles. I actually put it all the way up at the highest angle when I'm using it standing, just so it is a more natural straight look at my wrist and my forearm, as opposed to it kind of being angled because of the a little bit of an awkward angle while standing using a keyboard. Now I've been using FlexiSpot Sit Stand S for multiple years now. I actually have two of them in my apartment, so I can highly recommend FlexiSpot. They do have programmable heights for it, up and down. They also are running a couple working from home promotions. I will link to everything down below in the description, including some coupon codes as well. And as I always like to do, here's a quick typing sound test. The keyboard comes with a USB dongle. However, it has integrated Bluetooth, so you can connect it to multiple devices. You can have up to three devices at once. So maybe you want to connect to your phone, a laptop, and a desktop all at once. You're good to go. Really easy to use. It doesn't have a crazy amount of travel to the keys. However, this is the keyboard that I will continue to use even while video editing. I definitely like the ergonomic shape. And you can tell over extended periods of time of typing and video editing, you just feel a little bit more relaxed on your wrist and just your arms in general. And here's a close look at the MX Vertical from Logitech. Looks like a normal mouse from this angle, but the bottom is right here. So it sits at a 57 degree angle, which is similar to if I reached out for a handshake and then just go ahead and put your hand on the mouse. So a more natural position, instead of having to flip your hand over flat, it's more natural like when your hand sits at your side as well, just go ahead and fit the mouse right into your hand. Logitech says this will reduce muscular strain by about 10%. And taking a look at it, 
I've been really happy with this mouse overall. It has never disconnected on me. It does have a USB-C port for extra charging. In terms of battery life, about four months on a full charge. When it comes to the buttons, it has two side buttons, easy to reach with your thumb, an extra button up here. Maybe you wanna switch your DPI as well. Um, these are all programmable within Logitech software, kinda nice. And then up at the top, fairly simple, right mouse click, left mouse click, and a scroll wheel. On the outside, there's also a soft grip with ridges, which makes it very easy to hold on to, and it is also extremely comfortable. Now for me, when it comes down to my productivity, I did like this mouse. However, I missed a couple things about my MX Master 3. So two things on the left side here, there's a side scroll wheel, which is great for video editing. And also there's an extra button right here where my right thumb does rest and that is missing here. So overall for me, I probably with my workflow would rather have, you know, the MX Master 3, but that's personally for my video editing workflow. So yours might be a little bit different. Overall, the MX Master 3 has been my favorite mouse I've ever used. However, if you do have any sort of muscular strain or you are worried about it or want just more ergonomic of a setup, this is also a great mouse option. It didn't take long to get used to the position of the mouse, but one thing I have not been able to get over with this mouse is when I switch from using the mouse to typing really quickly, a lot of times it doesn't become an issue, but every once in a while my pinky will catch on the top part of the mouse and make the mouse go flying. So that is just something that over maybe a month I have not gotten used to and I still continue to do it. And overall, that's everything I wanna talk about with the Logitech Ergo K860 keyboard and my ergonomic setup in general with the sit-stand desk from FlexiSpot and the MX Vertical Mouse. Uh, definitely sticking with this keyboard, nice coupling it with the sit-stand desk. Uh, drop a comment, let me know what you think. And as always guys, thank you very much for watching.